I'm in the Gatesville, Perrinville, Dollarville, on to Knock and Hermansville, Allenville, Randville, Eagle Harbor, Watersmeet, Matchwood, Marquette. Bur Hi, this is Jim Islib with MSU Extension, and this is what's up at Uprec on October 13, 2020. Today we'll visit with the North Farm crew as they harvest the CBD hemp trial. Hi, my name is Allison Stawara, and we're at the Upper Peninsula Research and Extension Center's North Farm today. And we are harvesting some of our CBD hemp today. Uh, this research project uh, was looking at uh, just a basic variety trial for CBD hemp. Um, we grew this from transplant or grew this from seed, uh, transplanted these sometime about in late May, early June. And throughout the season, we've been uh, measuring uh, dates of flowering. And um, today we are finally pulling the whole plants out of the ground. Um, these plants were sent, we had tissue samples sent to labs to verify that they had less than 0.3% THC, which legally uh, makes them uh, CBD plants instead of marijuana plants. Um, and today we are harvesting the whole plant taking the wet plant weight. Um, we sent flower samples in as well to, to analyze the final CBD content right before harvest. And after that, um, this type of hemp could be processed into a variety of different CBD products, uh, oil, um, smokable flour, and a couple other different things. So um, we're looking to see which, which varieties perform the best in our northern climates. Some of these varieties uh, flowered later than others and um, we're just looking to see which one has the most consistent and, and uh, best uh, shape and CBD content. Allison is using a Sawzall reciprocating saw to cut through the stalks on these plants. You can see they're probably three inches in diameter and they're quite stiff and woody. So they use a saw to take them down. <laughs> Total weight is collected later on each plant. And then these will be dried, and then after they're dried, we'll be weighing the um, the dry weight again in a couple of weeks. So they have a little bit of different appearance, different colors and sizes. Mm -hmm. And you had how many varieties? We had 35 varieties, I believe, 35 or 36 varieties. Uh, we solicited seed from uh, different companies throughout the U.S. and um, some varieties were auto-flowering, uh, meaning that they flower uh, at maturity regardless of the day length, uh, whereas most of these varieties only started flowering after uh, we started to get less than 14 hours of daylight. So most of those started flowering in late summer, early fall, and uh, after that we were just waiting to see flower maturity before we harvest them. That's what's up at Uprec. Hope to see you again next time. Well, I'm so glad I'm living in the old UV.